Um, want us maybe want to occasionally remind people to mute themselves. Um, like if someone hops on, just have that reminder uh, when they get on. But yeah, I, I, I don't know if my post just went through. Um, yeah, I got the notification. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, if you ladies all want to go ahead and mute yourselves, um, we will get started. And we hope you're excited. I would have a pen and paper. Um, the teacher and me would like you to have a pen and paper to take notes and be excited. <laughs> I'll go ahead and start first. Um, so for those of you that don't know me, I'm Miranda Prazo. Renee and I met online. That sounds kind of funny, but we met online a while ago, uh, maybe a year and a half or so ago online. And then we met in person by chance at conference. We were walking to the arena at the same time and then continued to connect after that. And um, it is just one of those times when God placed the right person in your life at the right time. So um, we've become close friends and um, accountability and pacing partners, uh, which we will come full circle back to that. But that is one of the biggest things that I will always encourage um, anyone I come in contact with. And that is really important, having someone who can encourage you um, but also help you help hold you accountable to what you say you want to do is a really, really important as you um, work this business and in life in general um, for fr for friendship as well. So that's how, for those of you that are on Renee's team, that's how I ended up here tonight. Um, so what we thought we would do is talk to you guys a little bit about, um, <coughs> excuse me, instead of just our why with 31, um, but our leadership why, and uh, maybe kind of share some perks of leadership, uh, some ideas to talk about this amazing trip to the Bahamas that lies before us, um, and then just breaking it down into some action steps. So my journey as far as my leadership why, just like my regular 31 why, has um, had some some different uh, different phases. I, became, I honestly became a director, um, gosh, three years ago now, strictly because I wanted to have information. I didn't have a leader who led me told me what was going on. So I wanted to become a director just so I could get on our leadership live calls, have the extra insight and information that directors had. So that's how I started my leadership journey. Um, with time, as I began to share the opportunity more, um, I really loved seeing other people get the benefits of girl time and free products and <laughs> income, whether it was fun money or made an impact on their family's uh, financial story. And then now, um, I love that this is my full-time job. I, I was a stay-at-home mom, but now I would have to call myself a work-at-home mom because I don't ever stay. But <laughs> So um, I love that this, uh, what this offers to me and my family, um, but I was a high school Spanish teacher before, so now I feel like the leadership role I'm moving into um, in doing things like this and helping other women um, set, find why they want to be here and work towards that is it gives me that opportunity to um, – to lead and inspire other people. So that's kind of my why with leadership is it's really about the relationships for me now. Um, I do appreciate the full-time income that I earn for my family um, and some of the other perks, but really the, the, um, the, what we would, I guess, water down to girl time is really what um, keeps me here. So that's, that's my story. So mine was <clears throat> actually started at my very first conference that I went to. Um, I joined in March of 2013, and I went to conference that July. And after seeing all of the amazing, successful people on the stage that were all leaders, it made me set a goal that I knew I wanted to be in leadership someday. And at that point, I was very insecure about my leadership skills. Um, I felt like I didn't really have anything to offer, and that. Um, I feel like I just kind of stumble over myself sometimes. And so I just felt very, very flawed. But I knew that I really wanted to make the business work um, to prove to myself that I could do it and that becoming a leader was going to prove that to myself. And so I set a goal, that conference, and that was only four months into my business. And so um, once I promoted to director, I feel like that's where my confidence really kicked in. And I showed myself that I was able to do this. And even though I'm flawed, like I am able to connect with people on a personal level. I'm not this super smooth speaker that some people see professionally, but I'm just, I'm on your level type of girl, but yet I can still um, inspire women. And so it's been really neat to now my, now my leadership why is 
more to see other women succeed. So I love seeing all of you girls on here on our team that have the same aspiration to become a leader because I love watching you guys blossom and that encourages me as your leader to help you to be successful in that. Um, I too, like Miranda, love the full, full time income and I love that I'm able to be a work at home mom and that really has become possible because of being a leader because that's where your first page pay jump really comes into play. And so without being a leader, I probably wouldn't have that income that would allow me to stay home. Um, I love the relationships. I love all the perks that we get. I love taking Chad on free trips um, when hurricanes don't ruin them, but it's just a lot of fun all around and the perks we're going to talk about here soon. I really just say that all of them really tie into my leadership why, um, but that would just kind of be my initial leadership why. So we're going to start to introduce you to um, some of the perks of being a leader and why you might want to be a leader. Okay, so I think that if all of you are on here, then you have probably either watched a 31 minute call, listened to a training or listened to Renee or myself, or maybe one of the other leaders on our team share with you um, how you share the opportunity with women. So when you have someone who wants to become a consultant or you're trying to pique their interest in becoming a consultant, we, we talk about the things you want to talk to them about. Hopefully you all know when I say that that triggers in your mind, the three reasons people join, they join for girl time, they join because of the product or they join because of the money. When we move backwards, that's really why people host parties as well, starting there because they either want to have the social aspect, they want to save money on products, um, or they couldn't purchase maybe at the party previously. So now let's look at leadership. There's tons of reasons to become a leader. There's even more. But, but honestly, when Renee and I were discussing it, they really fit the same thing. There's going to be reasons that fit that, fit that girl time, that, that social aspect for us. There is a lot of product opportunities. I don't think I realized it until we started going through the list about that. And then um, obviously there's, there's, there's a money aspect as well. So um, I'm going to talk to you first about um, – just some of the opportunities for learning and networking and growing um, that maybe you didn't know were perks that leaders have. So the first one is what I mentioned earlier is there's a call every Tuesday morning that's called Leadership Live um, that we as uh, directors and above get to sign on to where, where the home office staff does this. They use this same tool, Zoom. Um, we don't get to all be on there. It's just them talking to us. But where they share announcements, we get the inside scoop earlier. Sometimes, you know, sometimes we'll tease you guys in our team pages and say, like, I have a secret. Um, so we get the inside scoop. We get a little bit more time to process and plan things. And um, just, yeah, so that's, that's like, that was literally the, the first reason I wanted to become a director was to be able to be on that leadership live call. Now they have shared that um, if any of you are senior consultants or working towards senior consultants, that some of these leadership perks, they're going to start trickling down into the senior consultant level as well. So I don't know if it has begun yet or is going to be becoming that there will be a senior consultant version of that leadership live because we really do view you as leaders as well. Um, and then <clears throat> some other things that have come after that initial leadership live is uh, director's day at conference. Um, that's one of, one of my favorite days of conference. So director's day at conference is uh, the morning of the, like you guys would have come later that day. So it's the morning of that first day of conference before super session. And, um, we get the opportunity to hear Cindy talk. It's in a more intimate setting. We're sitting around networking with like 10 other directors at our table or maybe upper level leaders as well. Um, and we get to hear an inspirational speaker of our own. We get to know a little bit of the numbers side. We get the forecast. Like we got to know some of the things that were coming over the next six months that are still trickling out to all of you. And then we got to round table and talk to each other. Um, I really love that day. Like, honestly, that could even be like, if I were making it, if I would have known about that, that would have been like on my director dream board. The reason I want to become a director, because I'm a, I'm a lifelong learner. I love, love learning new things and, and having that opportunity live to do that. So then last year they added this thing called leadership university where again, um, that should definitely be on your radar. If you're looking to become a leader where you get to go to the home office and again, in a very intimate setting, you get to hear from home office staff 
Some of our top upper level leaders will be your facilitators and teach you in different sessions. And they really are gonna help you with the logistics side of leadership. How do you talk to the girls on your team? What are some of the goals that you should have? Um, what should you, like to keep a healthy business, what kind of numbers are you looking at? And um, <coughs> brainstorming ideas as well. Uh, you'll get to hear kind of each part of your business that booking, selling, and recruiting from a leadership standpoint Point. So it's basically like a mini conference, mini national conference, but just for only leaders in a little bit lower key since it's just in a, like a conference room, <laughs> but excuse me. And then last on that same token of just that networking opportunity, that learning and growth. And then, um, I mean, there is always girl time involved. I mean, anytime you go to these, it's never like a professional business meeting where it's like, I mean, you want to be there. You're excited and you're invigorated and then you have all the girl time in the evenings as well. Um, leadership retreats is another one. Uh, maybe our uplines offer them. There might be an opportunity through the home office. The, they're adding more kinds of leadership retreats. Renee and I have this big dream of sometime hosting one for our two teams. We just have to find the right location because of the distance between us. But um, that's just, so those opportunities, those are, those, sorry, that's for our team. Currently there are sometimes ones that with our uplines, they hold ones that only leaders can go to. So we just wanted to share those as some of the perks. If you're like us and you like that opportunity to like hobnob with higher ups or learn, um, learn more about how to grow yourself as a person and as a um, leader, then those are, those are some of the perks you might be looking forward to too. So on top of the trainings, one of the biggest reasons that people promote into leadership is for the pay increase. And so when you promote to a director, um, you get that once in a lifetime opportunity to earn a promotion bonus. And this bonus um, is paid out to you and it's $1,000 if you hit your director requirements for the first four months. So it's your, right Miranda, your DIQ month, is it three months? Okay, your first three months. So, and I'll go over these a little bit here to break it down for you, but it's the first month that you hit your numbers. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt you. Your DIQ month is separate. It's your DIQ month and then the following three. So you're right. right. You can do it for four months. So the first month that you hit your numbers is called your DIQ month or director and qualification. And that's when you hit your um, $1,000 in personal sales. You have four PICAs, which is a personally enrolled, qualified, and active consultant, and then you have $4,000 accumulative with your whole team, so $4,000 in team sales. So the first month that you hit that, all of those statistics together, it's called your DIQ month. If you hit your numbers that month and the following month, you then will have your title changed to director. And then if you hit your numbers for the following two months, you will then get a $1,000 bonus. So it's called your promotion bonus. Um, but for any of you that may have joined us um, in the new Startswell period that just began August 1st, I don't think any of you on our call here have joined, but um, there is a couple girls that are on my team I know that are looking to go into leadership that would qualify for this. So when we send the recording, you'll see this. Um, if you guys promote in six months, you guys can get a $2,000 bonus. They're actually doubling it. So anybody that joins in this new Startswell incentive, if they promote to director within six months of joining, um, their promotion bonus will be $2,000. So let me just break down the requirements and the pay increases for you by title. So when you are a consultant, we all know we make 25% of our sales. You're pretty much in control of your paycheck at that point. When you have two PICAs underneath you, that's two recruits that you have personally sponsored and they both have qualified and sold $1,000, you then promote to senior consultant. Now at this level, you have no sales requirements, okay? Or team sales. Basically, you just have two people underneath you that are qualified. And at this time, you now continue to make 25% of your sales, but you're also gonna make 2% of their sales. So let's just say if you as a team sell um, $3,000, you're going to make 25% on your sales and then whatever their total sales are, you'll make 2% of that. Once you have four PICAs underneath you, and this is where you're gonna to start to have monthly requirements of $1,000 in PV a month and $4,000 in team sales a month, that's including you, you will then make 25% of your commission plus a 3% sales bonus. So that brings it to 28% that you're now making. So your personal paycheck is, that, is bigger. But then you're also going to jump from 2% to 3% on your Gen Zero. 
Now, your Gen Zero is anybody that's underneath you before another director. So, for example, Carrie here on the call is my director. And so, everybody that's between me and her is my Gen Zero, but her team is now my Gen 1, Generation 1, because she's a director underneath me. So, I make 3% of my Gen Zero and 2% of my Gen 1. So, I'm still making I'm still making a paycheck off of her girls. It's just not quite as much. So this is where your paycheck really increases because um, your team sales, you're making, off, you're making money off of them. And while it's not a lot of a percentage, it all adds up really quickly. And um, this is like a bonus into your paycheck. But you do have those requirements every month to maintain or to get paid at your status. Um, if for some reason, some month that you are a director, you do not hit your numbers, you just get paid at a senior consultant level. Um, but you really, really, really want to make sure that you have an established business before you do promote because you want to get that, that um, bonus. And if you would miss a month of your numbers in that first four months, your chance of the bonus goes out the window. So you never get a chance to get that again. You have a one shot at that bonus and you have to hit your numbers for four months in a row to get it. But it is very doable with a consistent business and we'll talk about that in just a little bit here. Still muted, okay. So then, so now we've kind of talked about um, a few of the um, different uh, business side, the money part aspects. So then like we have the other fun stuff left. So a few of the things that, um, add to whether it's products or the really fun girl time. Um, this year they added an aspect to conference called Pink Fest. So the night before Director's Day, we all got to go and have like a really fun, like it was, it was just a really fun opportunity to just hang out. And um, so at this level, most of you are probably in K groups. So, you know, you've met people online, you see people like on there, you chat. And then as you go into leadership you'll have the same thing where you're going to network with people and then they're from all over so you get to see them in person so that was really fun opportunity that that got added that we're all hoping they keep for next year um some kind of a social aspect just to add on top of all the time sitting and learning at conference <clears throat> um but uh another one is like all the amenities we get everywhere we go. So like at Pink Fest, well, did we get anything at Pink Fest? Maybe not that night specifically, but at Director's Day, we got an amenity. I, I, obviously at conference, you know, you all got amenities. When we host a meeting, our Better Together meetings, we get an amenity as well. Um, at Leadership University, uh, whenever they have any kind of other uh, live, sometimes they do live sessions with leaders as well. They always give us a gift. And like, that is a really... <laughs> Excuse me. We we still love that, you know, just like when some people join for that reason. Um, I'm not sure, Renee, did you mention home office leads? Pardon? Did you mention home office leads? I did not, no. Okay. Um, so hopefully you're all familiar with what home office leads are. That's when, to, so to earn home office leads, you have to be that senior consultant. So you have the two PICAs underneath you. And then once you hit that status, every month that you sell $1,000, and have a new person sign up, you're gonna get these emails of people who go to 31gifts.com and say they want a catalog or they need a consultant. You're gonna have the opportunity to have their information given to you. So their leads that like, what you know, that it's just a really great thing when you're working your business consistently like that, they're gonna throw new people at you that might lead to orders or parties or even new team members. Um, so one of the other perks of being a leader, even at the senior consultant level is if, out of every six months, like if you take this six month catalog, if three of those six months at least, you earn those home office leads, you have the opportunity to purchase next season's enrollment kit. So that if you host events, or you want to be able at your parties to just simply show the enrollment kit because you wanna show them the value of becoming a consultant, um, that's another perk that, that you have as a leader, even starting at the senior consultant level. 
Another one that we talked about, again, that maybe we don't always like really reflect on is the more you engage in your business and become consistent and move into these opportunities and even get on calls like this or engage in other trainings or these opportunities is you really start to network with peers who have similar goals as you. And that is something that whether it's in 31 or in your other job or in your fitness journey or in your faith journey, like it's really great to have people next to you. Um, pushing you along. So you're going to have more and more opportunities to do that the more you work towards leadership and then get comfortable in that role is is having that networking um, and inspirational for yourself and giving that to others. Um, and then the last one that I have to say is a huge perk of being a leader is leadership incentive trip. That's kind of what uh, put, like uh, catalyzed us meeting with you guys here um, because we want you all to experience what it's like to earn a trip for two to an amazing place that a lot of people likely wouldn't go on their own. I would never take these vacations on my own. Um, both I wouldn't splurge on it and we just really don't even have that money to do that. So I love, just like Renee said, I love the opportunity to, um, to earn that and bless, bless my guests with that as well. So, um, yeah, so those are some of the perks. I hope that now after you guys heard all of that, I know we've kind of been talking for a little while about all that stuff, but I hope that something there triggered the interest for you to find some of those things and start building why you might be looking forward to leadership. So we're going to pause since we've been talking so much and ask, and you have to participate because I'm a teacher and so participation is part of your grade. But um, you, we would love to know if after all of that long list, was there anything in there that seems like exciting to you? Hopefully there's at least one, maybe one to three things. So don't be afraid to share. There's only a few people on here. Um, but what, what out of <laughs> that extensive list like excites you? All right, I will go. Obviously, the um, amazing trip. Ever since I told my husband about Atlantis, he's like, you're doing that, and we're going to that. And so, kind of like, okay, cool. Um, and a pay increase, because I always feel like I need money. Um, and then I liked the... Um, like promotional bonus, that sounds like something that like would make me really push harder to get to where I wanna be. Love it. Um, I just wanna to go to the Bahamas. I've been there, <laughs> but only saw it. So yeah, I would love to go there. And um, after a slow summer, I'm kind of picking it up and hoping that I can be there with you guys. Anybody else want to share anything before we move on? Carrie, what's I have a couple. Of, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Casey. You're fine. I was just going to ask Carrie what her what her favorite parts are so far as a newer director. Um, I just had a couple questions. Um, so I signed up a girl like a month ago and she signed up someone like last week. So do I make something off of her or does it only work until you get up higher? When you promote to senior consultant, so after Jody would qualify, then okay. you start to make off of all three girls because she would be your gen zero. But not okay. until you have your second Pika. Okay. Okay. That's, and then, um, you kind of talked about like when you're ready, like when you promote to director, like, do you just automatically promote or is that something that you more like, or like, all right, now I'm ready to promote. Basically you kind of have to know if you feel like your business is ready for it. If you feel like you have consistent a thousand dollars a month. Um, and if you feel like your team can pull off the $4,000 in team sales, for me, I just set my PV goal higher so that I don't have to stress about my girls putting in parties. Um, but you kind of have to know if your girls are hobbyists or if they're consistent sellers. Um, you're going to see that in the first couple months here. I mean, obviously, your first recruit, she started right out of the gate really strongly. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you're going to find out shortly with Jody and, you know, um, what's her name, Ashley? Is that Chelsea's Yeah. Name? You're gonna I think Chelsea told me she has seven parties in October right now. So <laughs> yeah, so that's really great. 
Um, and you're going to find that they're consistent sellers and you'll be comfortable with promoting with a small team. I promoted with four, but I don't recommend that if you know that some of your girls are just hobbyists because you obviously want to make sure that you're comfortable with that $4,000 a month. So I feel like it is a point that you know that you're ready. Like you feel confident. Okay. You're going to be I just didn't know if it's more like, all right, you have four Picas, so now you're a director. Or if it's something that you're like, okay, I have four Picas, but I'm going to wait. I didn't so quite if you understand. Have, if you have your four Picas, you actually can. Um, what's it called, Miranda? What's the technical term? You can defer it. There's, defer. there's, a, there's a form to defer your DIQ. Um, and you can fill oh, that okay. form out as many times as you want. Um, if you happen to have the just the four Picas and maybe they're not strong enough or you're not ready to amp, amp up your personal, I did the same thing. I promoted with four and I just told myself, you're just going to sell three or $4,000 a month and make sure you're a director because I really wanted that information. But not everyone can do that. Some people work full time or some people don't want to put that pressure on themselves and that's okay. Um, most of the home office staff will encourage you to have six to ten. Um, people on your team. Maybe they're not all Picas, but you want six to ten girls on your team. Um, and again, that's obviously a personal decision, and we're all here to work with all of you ladies on making that decision. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you can defer it. You don't have to just because you DIQ. And you want to be aware of it because you only have you – can, you can become a director and lose your title and become a director as many times as you want to. Um, we, we would like to help you not do that. I didn't mean to like offer that as an option. Um, but you can only have one chance at earning the bonus. So that's where the decision to DIQ comes into play because once you let your DIQ go through, now you've activated your three month opportunity to get the, the bonus. So that's okay. the real thing at risk. Becoming a director. I mean, like I said, you can, you can hit the requirements and promote after two months. Um, and then if you don't hit the next month, all it takes is the next time you hit numbers, you're back in DIQ and you promote the next month again. That can, that's what I meant. It can happen more than once, but you only have one shot at the thousand dollar bonus. So. <laughs> so I love what you asked, Carrie. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Renee. No, go ahead. Were you finishing with something with that thought? I was just going to say, while we were paused, if anyone else has questions, we can't answer some mm -hmm. before we move on. We only have I, I liked what you asked Carrie earlier about what her favorite things have been about being a director so far. Oh, yeah. If you don't mind sharing, Carrie. What's a couple of things that you've – and you're muted, by the way. Okay. Am I unmuted? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, probably, well, for one, the trip that we didn't get to go on because <laughs> that was one of the um, – main reasons I joined was because I saw like, like I had, I think one large utility to it when I joined, I was like, what's this 31 stuff? But then I saw like all your posts about going on these trips and earning this and that. And I was like, what the heck? I was like, if she can do it, I can do it. So, um, that's definitely a big perk. Um, and then also the pay for sure. The extra income is super nice just to go do fun things or just buy, um, I don't know, just kind of toys for us that we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Um, and then also just the girl time, getting out of the house, going to conference was awesome for sure. So, Love it. All sorts of good stuff. Absolutely. <clears throat> Does anybody else have any other questions? Welcome, Mackenzie, by the way. I don't know if you can hear us. I don't see a picture of you, but you might just have your voice thing activated. <coughs> there you are. <coughs> okay. Well, if nobody has any other questions, we're going to jump into the leadership incentive trip requirements. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over cold. <clears throat> Actually, I need to go get a drink. I'll be right back. So what we're going to talk about only because our thing's down to five minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and take hers. I don't have my notes made for this because she was supposed to be talking about this, but I'll go ahead and get started um, so that we can try and capitalize on our time. So, oh, here she's back. Okay, I won't. I was going to try and help you because we only have like five minutes left. 
I was going to okay. say, should I close this one and just reopen it? I mean, that's fine with me. If you want to just go ahead and get it, just that way we can finish. I don't, we don't have a ton left, but that would be helpful to. Okay. So I'm going to close this one. Guys, just click on the same link and then it'll just bring you back into a new screen. Okay.